Hello everyone! Welcome to Crime Lab, the place where you find the truth about crime stories. In this video, we are going to talk about the murder of a beautiful little girl named John Bennett Ramsey. During the 90s era, a girl named John Bennett Ramsey, aged 6, who was an American child beauty queen was killed at her own house in Colorado. This piece of information spread like wildfire and proved to be a great shock to the world. Everyone wanted to know as to what exactly happened to the girl, which led to this adverse situation. This seems to be an interesting case, isn't it? Are you too intrigued by it and want to get to the details as soon as possible? Don't forget to be with us till the end of the video. Stay tuned and please subscribe. John Bennett Ramsey was born on August 6, 1990, to John and Patricia, Patsy, Ramsey of the Ramsey family. Little Miss Colorado, Little Miss Charlotte, Colorado State All-Star Kids cover girl. America's Royal Miss and National Tiny Miss Beauty were among the titles she won as a kid. She was found dead in the basement of her house in Colorado on December 25, 1996. Newspapers and news channels were buzzing with headlines regarding this little celebrity's unexpected demise. All sorts of speculations were being made as to who did this heinous crime. A complete thorough investigation was done by the police and forensic team. But before going there, let's first get to know a little bit about John Bennett's background and her six years of life briefly. She lived with her parents and older brother, Burke, who shared a comfortable home in Boulder, Colorado. Two private planes and a yacht belonged to the family. In addition, they owned a vacation home in Michigan. She was described as a well-dressed, attractive, and well-behaved girl. John Bennett had won her first pageant at the age of four, and she would go on to win four more in the next two years. She was always nice to other kids and used to share her toys with them. She enjoyed dressing up and being the center of attention on stage. Her mother, Patricia Ramsey, better known by her nickname, Patsy, was a former beauty queen. In 1977, she was crowned Miss West Virginia. She encouraged her daughter to participate in beauty competitions, and hence, we know John Bennett today. John Bennett's father, John Ramsey, was a well-to-do businessman. He was already in a marriage with three children when he met Patsy and later married her. Burke was John Bennett's nine-year-old brother who was rumored to have anger issues. Coming to the day of her death, the family had just returned from a Christmas party hosted at their friend's place at around 10 p.m. John Bennett's parents claimed to have put her to bed as she was tired after the party. Patsy got up early on the morning of December 26, 1996, to make some coffee. That morning, the family planned to fly to their other home in Michigan. She discovered a three-page ransom note on the spiral staircase leading down from the third floor of her home addressed to John Ramsey and demanding $118,000 for the safe return of his daughter. John Bennett was mentioned in the note as being safe and sound. The family was given specific instructions, including the fact that they should not notify the authorities. Patsy Ramsey claims she ran upstairs after reading this to check John Bennett's room only to find her bed empty, and then she dashed to John to tell him what she had discovered. I just remember when I read, we have your daughter, it just this overwhelming fear and I just dashed back up the stairs as fast as I could and pushed her door open. And then? And then I just screamed for John. They rushed downstairs at 5.52 a.m. to call 911 to report the discovery and the abduction of their daughter. We are kidnapping. Please explain to me what's going on. Are you happy, Ramsey? I'm the mother. Oh my God! Please. I'm okay. I'm sending an officer over. Okay. Please. Do you know how long she's been gone? No, I don't. Please, we just got out and she's right here. Oh my God! Please. The police reached the venue in a span of seven to eight minutes. Patsy Ramsey phoned a couple of her friends as she wanted comfort and help in searching for her missing daughter. Soon, the police reached the venue and shut John Bennett's room so that the evidence can be sustained. For a long time, the investigation happened outside of the home, interviewing friends and finding any evidence for the kidnapper and John Bennett. This was soon going to prove a very careless move on the part of the police team. Jean Benet Ramsey, the little girl in Colorado, was murdered. Beauty queen Jean Benet. Jean Benet's murder has frightened residents of Boulder. After a few hours of investigation, 
When the detectives started looking inside the house for any evidence, they started off with the basement. Astonishingly, the lifeless body of six-year-old John Bennett Ramsey was discovered encased in a white blanket in the wine cellar. She was discovered with duct tape over her mouth and a garrote made from one of Patsy's paintbrushes around her neck. Her hands were also connected by a cord. Despite the detective's warnings not to touch anything, John took her in his arms and carried her upstairs, effectively destroying a large amount of potential evidence. I immediately knelt down over her, felt her cheek, took the tape off immediately off her mouth. I tried to untie the cord that was around her arms. I couldn't get the knot untied. Picked her up and I ran upstairs and laid her on the floor and, and uh, still had a hope that she was alive. Eventually, the police realized that it was not kidnapping but homicide. When looking up the evidence, the ransom note was thoroughly checked by the experts. When the ink was compared to that of a pen found on Patsy's desk, it was found to be identical. The pen was discovered underneath the telephone in the house. The ransom note was written on paper that had previously been part of Patsy Rams's notepad. There were also two practice notes discovered. Burke's fingerprints were discovered on a bowl of pineapples in the kitchen. A black flashlight was discovered on the kitchen counter. Kleenex wipes were discovered on the kitchen table, and a shoe imprint was discovered near John Bennett's body in the wine cellar in the basement. No one had shoes with the same imprint, according to family and friends. In the basement, a broken window was discovered, and it was speculated that this was where the intruder had entered. There was also a suspected suitcase that sat below the window. In the tape, there was fiber from Patsy Rams's clothes. As one can see, a lot of accusations point toward the family of John Bennett. In the autopsy report, it was found that she suffered multiple injuries, including abrasions on the side of her face between her ear and jaw. Her eyes were filled with petechial hemorrhages. She suffered a massive skull fracture, as well as bruising and bleeding in her brain. It was determined that she was being sexually abused prior to her death. Doesn't it break our heart to listen to this happening to a six-year-old innocent lively girl? The three-page ransom note sparked a lot of interest among the public because it differed significantly from the typical short and crisp ransom note. Forensic experts practiced writing the ransom letter and discovered that just copying it down took about 21 minutes. This suggests that the person who wrote it had a lot of time on their hands, which is odd. Surprisingly, the amount demanded was exactly the same as John Rams's Christmas bonus for the previous year. The forensic experts made all three members copy down the ransom note with both right and left hands in order to figure out who might have written it. It was found that many of the individual letters on the ransom note and Patsy's copy were found to be very similar. Another theory that lurks beneath the surface of everything else is that John Bennett Ramsey's death was caused by an accident. Burke, her brother, was said to have anger issues, and it's possible that he hurt her sister, as he had previously, and that their parents would have covered it up to save him. Many people who were close to the Ramsey family believe that they were not at fault as there was an intruder's angle scene too. In the basement, there was a window that had been shattered from the outside. A suitcase was also discovered beneath the window, which could have been used to flee through the window. In the list of suspects, two people's names popped up, but due to lack of evidence, they were released. One among them was John Mark Carr, John Bennett's former school teacher. In 2006, he was arrested by the police as he had confessed that he had killed her, but as there wasn't any evidence to prove his point, he was released from jail. Another person was a pedophile named Gary Oliva, who was a neighbor of the Ramses. He's currently serving a 10-year sentence in Colorado for child sexual exploitation. He was suspected because he had called up a friend and said that he had unintentionally hurt a little girl in his area. But when pondered over this revelation, no other girl apart from John Bennett was hurt in that area. It has been 25 years since the assassination of John Bennett Ramsey, and no one has been apprehended. The investigation is still ongoing. Investigators are hopeful that DNA evidence will help them find John Bennett's killer soon. In a recent report, due to the trial of John Bennett's half-brother and sister, a forensic scientist named Richard Eichelenboom has shown confidence that the advances in DNA can help resolve the long impending case. Let's hope that justice prevails for John Bennett Ramsey at the earliest. How did you guys find the video? Which part was the most surprising for you? To let us know in the comment section below. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video with a new true crime story.